welcome on this mock interview you can introduce yourself first yes sir thank you for giving this uh, opportunity uh, to mock interview uh, my name is boy sitappa i am from madhya pradesh currently i am living in bangalore and i am having 5 uh, years of experience as it support engineering and i have done btech in amino you know, institute of technology and science uh-huh. from jnwh university and uh, i started my career in 2019 uh, in itech informatic private limited as a it technical support engineering and uh, i worked there around 3 years and my second company it was innotech private limited and i worked with client of kpmg Mm-hmm. as a it help desk engineering and i worked there around 1 year and my third company it was uh, diverse links private limited and i worked with a client of tcs private limited as a it survey desk engineering and i worked there around 1.5 years of his uh, 1.5 years mm-hmm. and uh, coming to roles and responsibility to my last company uh, attending the calls hardware and software and application closing within minimum time and uh, providing all the technical type of support to user as per client's requirement and uh, resolving day to day specific problem to the client application and uh, working with incident management to the resolving the technical issues and uh, cost logging and updating and closing and escalating to the next appropriate level mm-hmm. and uh, password resetting and working through active directory and uh, license software installation in user mission uh, and handling micro ms office application issues and explain to the problem concern department and following up them until get resolved and uh, uh, handling basic troubleshooting of uh, print uh, printer issues and uh, adding printer server in user mission and uh, handling basic troubleshooting of network related issues and uh, Uh, handling uh, hardware related issues and software issues and handling mobile devices like ios and android is uh, the support myself okay great great nice nice introduction okay so you have total 5 years of experience correct yes okay great and uh, you you are looking for a new job or you still working in that company uh, i hope that I left the company August thirty first. So I'm looking for a job. So I given interviews uh, more than ten, but uh, I'm getting rejected. I don't know why. So I need to improve my skills. Okay. So, like, did they say any you know uh, reason for rejection? Uh, they are not saying anything because uh, HRs uh, once uh, scheduling the interview only they will contact keep on. But after uh, once finish interview, they won't uh, pick the call and they won't say anything. If you know the reason, I can improve better. Uh, for I'll tell interviews. you. Uh, I'm frankly yeah. saying, so I'm conducting the mock interview for this this reason only. And after yeah. uh, the interview, I will I will tell you uh, because uh, I can understand like what what is your issue. So I I'll tell you definitely. Mm-hmm. so in which part you need to improve yourself so don't worry okay so uh, quickly we can start with the interview interview round uh, okay a mock interview round and your uh, first question uh, from my side is uh, mm-hmm. you know what is service desk and what service desk can do uh, service desk uh, so where user uh, Uh, calling to through remotely or uh, chat support or email support or voice uh, call uh, voice voice uh, basically they will call to has uh, there is having any issues like uh, software issues or hardware issues any application issues mm-hmm. so further they are calling and uh, calling to service desk people and they will uh, based upon issue they will resolve that issue okay Okay, great. So just uh, tell me the difference between customer support and service desk. Yeah, customer support like uh, where uh, user is uh, physically approaching, and uh, that is a customer support. Service desk only uh, through remotely approaching the to service desk. Okay, okay. So 
uh, that's the incorrect answer. Don't worry, I'll uh, tell you the correct. Actually, I uploaded a you know uh, video for that. Okay, you I, I'll share the link. You just go and uh -huh. you know watch that video. Then you will get the differentiation between customer support because there are lots of uh, you know uh, uh, reason. So the customer service is totally different. Service desk is totally different. So I described uh, on my video. I'll share that link with mm -hmm. you. I have. Uh, I wrote a post also regarding that. So I'll share both of the link uh, in this video description. Okay. So no no issue. But you need to prepare for this. Okay. Just keep that in mind. You need to prepare yeah. for this question. Okay. Uh, okay. Next. How do you troubleshoot common hardware issue? How do you troubleshoot? Yeah, let me take. Uh, if user is having uh, system is unable to turn on. Yeah, for that uh, first I get to user uh, uh, unplug the all the cables which is in plugged in uh, laptop or desktop. Uh, remove all the cables, the power cable. Um, check the power socket; it is working or not. And uh, if it is working fine, then uh, you can plug it in. And uh, press the uh, power, even if it is not working, uh, press the uh, power button long press uh, 20 to 40 seconds and uh, wait for 2 3 minutes. And uh, you can see uh, the you can see the moment on the keyboard. Uh, there is a, if uh, there is a light on the caps lock, the system will get turned on. Uh, if not, uh, there is a uh, uh, RAM issue or fan fan issue. So as a survey desk engineering, so we, we can guide these things. Uh, apart from that, we can escalate to the constant in and change the power cable, change basic things, change the power cable and change the switchboard. So like that, we can guide to users. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for that. So you said uh, in your introduction that you worked on the printer issues also, correct? So, uh, could you please just tell me, yes. how would you approach a troubleshooting for a printer issue? Suppose I have a printer issue, how, uh, like, would you approach? Mm -hmm. What is the troubleshooting step should? So, we can uh, take a remote control of user machine and uh, from there, uh, you can search in the start menu control panel and select devices and printers and uh, you can uh, have the printer uh, server in their machine and once it is installed you can set as default and uh, we can give a test page and uh, if it is uh, receiving uh, you can get the confirmation from user end if it is receiving uh, the test page uh, then it is working fine and also you can see the status in uh, user machine uh, offline or in progress you can see on the down at the bottom at the printer uh, where you can install the server. Uh, even though the print, uh, paper it is not receiving, and go to user, uh, uh, check the tray and uh, paper is available or not. Uh, if it is uh, there, uh, we can properly insert the tray. And also, uh, so even though all good, then if it is, then if, even though if it is not working, if it is not getting printer, go to user to uh, unplug the Ethernet cable and plug it in back. And also, even if it is not working, uh, then go to user restart the printer. So then it should work. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. So, uh, are you familiar with uh, ITIL or similar framework? ITIL. Uh, no, but every interviewer asking for this ITIL. Yeah, yeah. it is a. Uh, Information technology. Uh, I am not. Uh, I am not aware of this one. You but said every interviewer asking uh, this idea. So if every interviewer asked you this this question, you need to you know prepare for that. Okay. So I uploaded a thirty question uh, video on my channel where I mention all the you know service desk uh, related interview question. And in that, I uploaded on the on two part. Okay, in first part, question number uh, on the question number three, I mentioned that what is ITIL. So you can go and check out my both video for thirty question part one, thirty question part two. So if you will read all the sixty question, 
I better you like no any interviewer will stop you and you know you will get selected so don't worry about because you know you need to you need to read you need to understand the technical question only which interviewer will going to ask you so ITIL is very important so you need to understand about mm -hmm. ITIL what it means okay what is the work of ITIL you can yeah it is the infrastructure of IT technology yeah so it's yeah, a it framework is a, uh, it's a framework yes okay. it's correct ITIL is a framework mm -hmm. and you need to prepare for that okay just if if you will go and mm. you know type on youtube itil framework you will get lots of video just select anyone and read about that but because this is a very important question the next mm. question is uh, you know uh, what is sccm s as a system c as a charlie c as a charlie m as a monkey so sccm SCM it is a system center configuration manager. Uh, uh, it is developed by Microsoft. Uh, it is used for uh, uh, patches and uh, push the client application uh, through the server. Great. So you know this is the meaning. That's the answer. If like all interview interviewer you know want answer like that, not the not only full form. So if you will say in detail, uh, if you will answer in detail. You know they will they will definitely select you. So you need to prepare for ITIL like that. Okay, that's great. Uh, you mm -hmm. are correct. Okay. So now uh, my the next question is, okay, you said you worked on the network part also, correct? Basics, not uh, basics. So I'll I'll ask the basic question. Basic. Okay. Do you know how to ping any IP? Uh, in con in command prompt, mm -hmm. uh, you can select uh, IP config. Then you can show the uh, you can see the display of the information, the IP address and the sunbelt mask and uh, uh, subnet mask and default gateway. No, no, that's the incorrect. If I want to ping any IP, so what is the command for that? For that? So you said uh, ping, yeah, IP config. If you will, you know, IP, uh, sorry, 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 you, they will they will show you the ping. IP. Yeah, ping, ping. ping. It is correct. Mm. So how how you can ping any in I command prompt? Yeah, in command prompt you can select uh, enter the ping P I N G. Uh -huh. Only P I N G. No, that's the incorrect answer. Uh, that is all I am aware, but uh, you you should know that because you this is a this is a very basic question. Okay, I'll 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 answer you like. I'll show you the answer. If you will watch this video, right, you will get the answer also. But you should know that mm -hmm. because this is very, very basic. Yeah. So you, the ping command command is different. IP config is different. If you want to know any IP address, okay, IP address of any computer, any any laptop, then you can just go into the command prompt. It command prompt will open. Then type IP slash uh, space config. You will get the IP address, but if you want to ping, so the command for that is different. I mean, we don't need to go on command prompt for that. So no worry. Mm -hmm. It you know that's the process. Now that's the that's why we are conducting mock interview. Okay, because I can yes, understand. Yes. I can you know uh, I'll give you the feedback also after this interview. So you need to work on that. Okay, so. You know, you need to understand, and you need to work on this command also because interviewer will definitely ask this question. But this is a very basic question. In the yes, okay. Okay. Uh, next. Okay. Do you know what is DNS? DNS. Uh, DNS. It is a domain name system uh, where you can uh, convert. Uh, IP address into names and it will accessible uh, for web URLs. Okay. So for, for, uh, let's take any example. Uh, there is a website that is behind the IP address. Uh, yeah. If you enter this website uh, in browser, so there is a behind IP address. Mm -hmm. 
So even if you can enter that uh, manual app IP address, we can open this website. So this is a. Uh, 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 and also we can take uh, one more example in mm -hmm. our mobile phone there is n number of contacts mm -hmm. so we cannot remember the, those numbers so mm -hmm. uh, we can save the names mm -hmm. so like like that we can uh, uh, save that uh, we can remember that num uh, names of that ip address okay great uh, okay my next question is what is the basic function of outlook yeah, Outlook is uh, using for business purpose, uh, for where users are uh, using uh, mails to uh, sending and receiving mails from client end. So for that business purpose, so they are using for every organization. Uh, no, that's the not the correct answer. But yeah, uh, sending and receiving email is the correct one, but another one is not correct. So, you know, um, if I'll talk about the function, so uh, it's allowed to send and receive, you know, email message, correct? And also, uh, you can manage your calendar, store name and number of your contact and track your time. Yeah. Okay. However, even if you, uh, if you use Outlook okay. every day, then you might not know some of the cool things it can do to help you more productive. So, I can say Outlook is more productive. So basically, it's organize your email, calendar, contact, task, and to-do list. You know, you need to answer like that. And I mentioned, I uploaded all the answer. So also, the, uh, like I uploaded uh, Outlook 30 question video and uh, a post also on my callmepandeji.com website. So if you will go on my website and just type service desk, then you will see so many posts which I posted. Okay, this is, you need to yeah. go, go and read all before your interview, then it will definitely help. Okay. Sure, sure, definitely. Okay. Now, uh, have you used a service? now application yeah we are using service now tool only for uh, their uh, where we just raising a request and uh, incident uh, for their issues uh, further they are using this incident and request from their end and uh, we'll uh, pick the ticket and uh, we'll uh, based upon issues we'll uh, reach out the users so what no no that's not the correct answer you know if you will answer like that that's not the correct word so you know you need to say like that if, if anyone will ask you what is service now, so you need to tell like, yeah, service it now is a tool. ticketing tool, ticketing tool, not the tool only. It's a ticketing tool. Yes, sorry. Yes, correct. It's a ticketing tool yes. from where you can create an incident or create a ticket. Got it? Suppose if any correct. of your team member will call and say, I have an issue, then you need to understand the issue and then you need to create a ticket for that am i right yes okay. so service now is a ticketing tool okay where you need to create a ticket or create an incident for every call chat or email okay yes now could you please just tell me difference between inbound and outbound uh, inbound inbound like uh, where user is calling to us that is inbound and outbound is where you are calling to the users that is outbound correct answer okay so you worked on a uh, service desk for five years so do you know about csat 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 report i think no i service desk i worked only 1.5 years and rest of it uh, l2 support that was no but you should know about that this is very common in service desk or customer support because in every service desk you know uh, you need to maintain that I i'll tell you csat is customer satisfaction score csat report mm -hmm. could you please just tell me top 10 microsoft applications used in corporate companies for service desk the name of 10 microsoft application ms office outlook one note ms teams one drive power bi in my publisher correct go ahead go ahead ppt 
presentation. But you said MS Office. Yeah, I said already. MS Access. MS Access. You should know at least 10 Microsoft application names. You already, uh, you know, uh, answer 7 to 8. That's great. That's not uh, like I'll not, uh, I'm not going to tell you like you did not answer, but you need to know at least 10 application names. Yes, sure, sure, sure. definitely. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll recollect my sin. Yeah, no issue. No issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay, so uh, do you know about the uh, Active Directory? If you know, then please tell me what is Active Directory. Uh, Active Directory it is a centralized act, uh, centralized database. Uh, it is developed by Microsoft, mm -hmm. and it is used for uh, uh, it is used for uh, account uh, user account information and uh, printer name printer names and host names and user name and password uh, user name and password and it also helps. Uh, Administrator of uh, user uh, device information and it also helps administrator to manage uh, user account so that they can provide access to the uh, AD. Uh, all uh, domains controlled by this uh, centralized active directory. Okay. And uh, you can give any software license through active directory. And also we can check. Uh, the software license, uh, whether it is having or not in the through Active Directory, mm -hmm. that's about. And uh, account creation. Do you remember any issue which you resolved very easily and very quickly? Yeah, when uh, when password reset unlocking, uh, this is all resolved within uh, one minute. But any uh, any software issues, any hardware issues, it will take time. Okay, nice. Okay, now tell me one thing. Suppose I am a user, okay, and I am calling you for an issue. Suppose uh, one of the application uh, is not working in my uh, smartphone. Okay, one of the application mm -hmm. is not working in in my smartphone, uh, which is a process application. Okay, uh, so in that situation, how you will troubleshoot? What is the troubleshooting step for that? Yeah, firstly, uh, ask the user. Uh was it working before or not uh, they are saying yes mm -hmm. and then guide to user uh, it should be uh, is it connected internet mm -hmm. uh, if they are saying yes uh, then uh, then go for uh, uh, uninstall and reinstall that application uh, mm -hmm. even though if it is not working uh, clear the browsing history mm -hmm. and uh, restart the uh, reboot the phone and uh, turn it back and then uh, uh, reinstall the application and try it once. Uh, even though if it is not working, and uh, guide to user update the iOS version of their mobile. Uh, once it is updated, the iOS of their mobile, uh, then uh, try to sign in back. Uh, then it should work, I think. Okay, thank you for that. So I think uh, we have done our meeting. We have uh, like I have only two minutes. So if you have any question, you can ask. And I have some feedback because uh, I need to give you the feedback and I will not upload the feedback part on YouTube. Okay. I, I must say thank you for joining that. Okay. And uh, if you have any question, you can just comment down. Comment down. I'll, I'll reply on every question.